Well, from uh, top flight cup opposition, Swansea welcome the championship bottom club to the Liberty on Saturday. Uh, Gareth, a word first about uh, Tuesday at Craven Cottage. The FA Cup dream uh, ended in disappointment. Yeah, sadly, uh, no Manchester United in Swansea. Um, uh, it was a. Uh, it looked like it might happen for, for yeah. quite a while. Thirty minutes to go, and Swansea was still winning. But uh, if you're honest, I think uh, Fulham. You've got to say Fulham deserved to uh, to go through on the night. Uh, really, Swansea's regret probably mm. as they look back is that they didn't beat them in the home game. Uh, that was when they should have seen off Fulham. They dominated, yeah. but but going to Craven Cottage while well, they. Well, they put up a decent display. Um, you know, Swansea was slightly depleted, and, and Fulham just had too much for him in the end. Mm. And now, as far as Swansea are concerned, all eyes on the league campaign and uh, a playoff spot, hopefully. Yeah, uh, indeed. <laughs> uh, there's yeah, there's no no cup fuss anymore. So yeah. one, the one good thing I suppose to come out of it is that Martinez won't have to worry about his players. You know, only thinking about Manchester United. Yeah. Um, it's all eyes on the league, as you say. Thirteen mm. games to go to. To secure the top six place, you know, which would be a terrific mm. achievement. Martinez has, has talked about it openly, uh, yeah. uh, talking about maybe 71, 74 mm. points, something like that, to get there. He's he's even told us that he's had a look at all the fixtures on the last day, and, yeah. and he's happy that uh, all the teams, you know, who are, who are involved possibly, and and how he's happy that Swansea are at home. So so you know, he's obviously thinking seriously about it. Quite a, a break from tradition as far as Roberto's concerned as well, to be so open and talk about points totals and things like that. Yeah, all season he's he's uh, he's shied away from that sort of thing, hasn't he? Yeah. But, but he, he finally came out and said a couple of weeks ago that the playoffs were a possibility and now yeah, he's really he's really bullish about it, you mm. know, um setting it as the goal, not saying, you know, it'll be a good season even if we miss out at the moment. He's really trying to uh, you know, get his his players to focus mm. on, on the possibility of reaching the top six. And if they're going to hit this target of the top six, Charlton have to be beaten, don't they, really? Well, uh, I mean, Swansea would probably hope so, yeah. Mm. Um, Charlton have had a pretty miserable season. I think they've only won once in the league away from home. Bottom of the table, eight points yeah. adrift of safety. Uh, uh, went on an 18-game run, I think, without mm. a win. Uh, they've perked up a bit, two wins in the last five, but... But uh, obviously, you know, uh, they're having a difficult year. And yeah, I mean, mm. Swansea, if they're gonna if they're gonna make the top six, then as you say, they'll be they'll be hoping to take all three points this weekend. Mm. There's a bit of team news, isn't there? I think Gary Monk is close to a return, isn't he? Yeah, uh, Swansea are hoping so. Um, you know, obviously uh, missed the captain at Fulham and and mm. last weekend. Uh, he's fifty fifty. They're saying I, I fancy he might play. Uh, Gorka Pintado though, maybe maybe not quite ready after his. His hernia surgery, so probably right. probably Monk the only change I would think mm. possibly to the to the team that started at Fulham. Okay, well uh, Swansea lost at the Valley on the opening day of the season. Uh, let's hope they can prove how far they've come.